Say I have a character like this and I want to add some clumps on top of the hair. To do this I'm just going to select the furball shape inside of the stack or any of the nodes inside of the operator stack and I'm going to select this clump tool over here. Once I select the clump tool I just select the hairs that I want clumped inside the viewport. They're going to turn red and then I'm going to open the Maya's tool window. Inside the tool window we have the options for clumping. So just to create a single clump I can press this create clumps button and there we go, we have the single clump. If I want to create more clump than one, I can set the clump number here inside the clump count parameter. So if I want to create four clumps, I just set this to four and I press create clumps. Then I can select other parts of the hair and clump them accordingly. So I select the rest of the hair like this, press create clumps and I'm going to clump those hairs into four different randomly placed clumps. If I want many more clumps, like in this case over here, I just set this to 100, press create clumps and then we have 100 clumps. If I want to unclump specific parts of the hair at any later point, I can just select the hairs that are already clumped and press delete clumps to create the unclumped hairs over here. I can create clumps from those hairs at any point in the future by clumping them again. If I want a different order of the clumps, I just change the random seed parameter, press create clumps again until I am satisfied with this particular random clumping of the hair. If you want to adjust the parameters of the created clumps, like uh, the clumping amount, you can find the clumping operator that was created by this tool inside the operator stack and by default it is selected for you and inside the attribute editor you can change the various settings related to clumping such as the clump size or the amount curve or any other parameters for example if you want to drive your clumping with a map or a vertex colors or something like this. You can also edit individual clumps inside here by using the clump editing tool where you can visualize individual clump stems and change their parameters but this becomes a little bit more advanced than we need for this tutorial. Enjoy your hair clumping in Ornatrix for Maya!